historical interest is carried out, like this model of Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, burnt down in 1613. Built from original builders' contracts and old drawings, the model was ordered by a firm now standing on the Globe's Southwark site and will go on a tour of the United States. Look closely at this Georgian-style doll's house owned by Mrs. Sarita Clayton Mitchell, and it's easy to imagine you're still traveling with Gulliver. More than 200 years old, this imposing 12-roomed mansion is lit electrically and furnished throughout. Originally a six-roomed cottage, it's been enlarged, decorated and modernized by five generations of the family, so that today it's worth 3,000 pounds. The best bedroom is richly furnished, while bed linen is hand embroidered and edged with lace. The Empire Room is named after the Empire style love seats and armchairs presented to Mrs. Clayton Mitchell's mother by Empress Eugenie. The bathroom was installed 50 years ago. There are more modern kitchens, but none better equipped than this one of early Victorian style. A real mouse skin rug adds a Lilliputian big game touch to the entrance hall. Even an ordinary cigarette dwarfs the diminutive features of the dining room. Among the many valuable ornaments in the drawing room are Japanese statuettes and French colour prints, while on the table is a solid silver tea set. A matchstick illustrates the size of these pipes, for instance. And whoever put the cat in the nursery obviously never heard the expression, there isn't enough room to swing a cat around. But it does add a touch of warmth to the homely scene. 